yo. What's this for? It's really windy out there, so I'm going to explain what we're doing before I go out because you might not be able to hear me over the wind. Um, we got to remove the mooring ball and winterize the whole unit so that when we go south it isn't uh, getting taken out by a big ice flow. So that's the plan. We generally run a rope to shore and tie it off to a tree somewhere. And that's been our system so far and it's worked just great. So there's also some floats on the chain just in case we drop it but we haven't dropped it yet so anyway I'll show you how it's done what we've done so far is we've lifted the mooring line up with a halyard and that of course is attached to the mooring ball so eventually the ball came out of the water and we've exposed a length of chain so I've connected the chain to my windlass and lifted it up a little so I've taken the tension out of the mooring line so I can undo the shackles and what have you. I've got some line here and this line will it's sinking so I'm going to tie it together with this line. I got enough line to reach that shore. It's about 100 feet, I think. Yeah. Maybe 110. So, all this line sinks. We're not going to have uh, any boats getting, uh, getting their propellers snagged up in it because it will be well below the surface, uh, probably 25 feet down. There's my connection point. Now, there's not a lot of stress on this line, it's just some means of getting the chain back again because there's about three thousand dollars worth of chain and concrete down there. This is how plans change. This morning we thought we'd be going to Picton. Wind was on the nose, but then we had this beautiful sail as we turned the corner heading away from Picton towards Belleville. So we took advantage of that, only to be back in the same situation again in the in uh, Deseronto. We hit uh, wind on the nose again. So anyway, it won't be long. We're going to be back in the marina. We've got a list of projects to do. That's uh, a whole page long. Uh, Deb and I have been going over different different things we want to get done. The primary one being the refrigeration. Uh, it's going to be important that we get that in and get it running and get uh, uh, another solar panel up as well. So uh, that's where we sit with that right now. It is windy as the dickens. I'm speaking inside because you won't be able to hear me when I get out there. But uh, I'll take you out and let you have a look at that. This is uh, wind on the nose.
and uh, we're gonna give it a shot putting it in uh, today's 31 degrees and they're saying it's gonna feel like 41 degrees 90% humidity should be real fun so first things first I'm gonna have a coffee I'm gonna think about this and then uh, we'll dig in Yo voy a cantar esta canción, yo voy a cantar esta canción para mi gente Con una pasión, con una pasión tan fuerte The second weekend in September is traditionally a get-together weekend for my family. This year we met at Bracebridge, Ontario at Caribou Lodge. Now uh, we get together and celebrate birthdays and an anniversary and we get reacquainted with one another, spend some time together around campfires, but most importantly we sail. Our boat of choice is the venerable Albacore. We generally have three of them at the family get-together and they are a source of a lot of competition and a lot of fun. Hey yo. What do you think, Captain? Looking Up good. Upwind first? I think you should. I don't think you have much choice. Size, can we be in next Friday's video? You sure can. <laughs> the Albacore is a great way to learn to sail. It has all the elements of a big keel boat in a nice, small, inexpensive package. Oh, and they go like stink. Well, we've, we've left in earnest now. Uh, Dev and I are just uh, heading out finally to go across Lake Ontario and go south. We're going to make a couple stops on the way, but we're not far out of Belleville. I think we're just at Sandy Cove here. <laughs> and the engine's overheated. So, 
we've been digging around inside and uh, inside the engine room and it looks like the strainer was filled up with a bit of debris so we've cleaned that out now and I'm going to dig in as soon as the engine cools off I'll, I got to crawl in behind there and see if the water pump belt uh, came off but I have a suspicion the water pump belt let go as well so Deb's uh, just fixing the strainer right now This is Chris's toothbrush, by the way. <laughs> well, it appears that the belt is there. Isn't access good in this engine? So we got some good news, uh, it was just a plug strainer, we've un unplugged it, the belt looks okay, and uh, there's a happy camper, we're underway, Hi. off we go. Well for the last time this year, we're heading out at the gap between Amherst Island and Prince Edward County and it's a foggy day but the fog is high so uh, we're gonna go across the lake and get to Oswego, New York where we'll enter the Erie Canal uh, actually it's the Oswego Canal there which goes into the Erie Bars Canal which goes into the Hudson River and onward anyway just maybe have a look here in the background so hopefully that fog stays up high the way it is. And uh, Deb and I are officially going south. So this is it folks. <laughs> one uh, as we're crossing Lake Ontario Debbie's decided that'd be a good time to clean the bilge so she's upside down with her head in it taking uh, the bilge pump apart and uh, cleaning the debris out of the bilge um, she is iron guts for sure and mark my words the first person to throw up in this video series will be me. Once arriving in Oswego, you got to take all your rig down in order to get through the canal so you don't have the bridge clearance. So we've started taking the sails off and tomorrow morning uh, the fellow's going to come and he's going to take our mast down. So that'll be the, uh, the final day in Oswego, final day on Lake Ontario and we'll be going inland on the canal. <laughs>
So she got a swing keel? Uh, no, it's just a dagger board. A dagger board on it, yeah. Or, or it just goes straight down. Are you ballasted at all, or can you can you roll her? Oh, I can roll it. It's just yeah. me. It's just my yeah. weight. Just you, yeah. Uh, wow. And what's your name? Colin. Colin? Yeah. Nice design, Colin. 